Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. It is real early in the morning. It's about 7, 7.30. And I'm going to go through this vineyard and try to get it shoot positioned and hedged today. Which may be easier said than done. I don't know. We'll see. The entire thing's going to have to be hedged at the bottom. I should be able to push all of these over to the wire with no problem. So I'll be able to get it positioned pretty easy. I already detangled this about a week ago, but it's still quite messy. I don't know. This is going to take a while. A lot of this stuff is already down to the ground. It gets that way really quick at this time of year. So, I guess the only thing I can do is jump in and get started on this, and we'll see how long it takes. Today is an 82 degree day with very little humidity, so it's a perfect day for it. It's going to be hot, but it's not going to be unbearably hot like it has been. Yeah, it should be a lot easier to do any positioning because... The bases of these chutes have lignified a lot since the last time I was in here. So you can move them around and they don't just snap right off. You have to disconnect them though. You can see all this stuff here. Lots of tendrils holding it together. Yeah, I definitely will need two hands. Okay. And then once I get everything hedged, I have to hedge it at the bottom and at the top. The aisles will be just loaded with leaf matter and I got to get that out of here. You can't just leave it in here and let it decay or cut it with a lawnmower or anything like that because it's a potential source of disease and you can't leave that in your vineyard. All right, we're going to start on row A and get this going. Okay, I worked on this all morning, but the neighbors were just crazy doing stuff this morning, so I really couldn't film. But you could see that I got almost every shoot down to the wire, and then I hedged everything that was hanging out. And like these right here, these are just not quite ready. Oh, that one can probably make it. Yeah, there we go. Some of them just aren't quite ready, and then some of them up on top, they have a good amount of fruit on them, and I detangled them, and I want them to get some weight so I can tuck them into here at a future date. But you can see, especially like on this side, almost everything is going down to the wire, and like I said in earlier videos, the leaves look really funny right after you do that, but within a day, all the leaves are facing the sun, and it looks really nice in here after a day or so. You could see all the stuff that was cut out. Once I get everything over, I go through and hedge stuff, especially like this. Obviously, I didn't get everything. It kind of looks like a few things popped off the wire on this row right here. But I don't think a lot of this stuff was ready. I tried to get it down to the wire, and it just wasn't there yet. Let's try it again. Nope, it's not ready to get to the wire yet. So, like this row, I'll end up doing again. Well, all the rows I'll end up doing again. But, by far, this is the most major shoot positioning that I'll be doing. So, this is where I left off. You can see everything is down to the wire that could make it to the wire. This is not quite long enough. And then on this side, I still have to do it. And you could see everything's hanging out. I'm gonna try to film the rest of the day and show you exactly what I'm doing. Sometimes you can get a whole bunch like this. You can get the whole bunch down to the wire at once. Sometimes you gotta yank them apart and push them down one at a time. Just a lot of finessing. And then I do go back and detangle like this one right here. 
The thing is, at this time of year, the shoots don't just snap right off. They're very pliable, so you can get some actual work done. This one goes on the other side, so I just gently release it on the other side and let gravity take over from there. So you can see a bunch of detangling here. I'll get the tripod so I can work with both hands, but this is the row I'm working on next, but I will be starting right here. Also notice that there is zero disease in the vineyard. That's what you get when you spray on schedule like that. This is mancozeb, that's antifungal. That's not a disease. Okay, let's start with this one.
Okay, all done. You could see that this first row that I did, everything that I tucked in, the leaves are already turned out towards the sun. It's pretty cool. And you'll see that on the last row that I did, it's going to be not so much. Well, you probably can't see from here. I'm not going to go all the way down there. The neighbors are back, so I don't want to make any noise down there. I have a ton of stuff to pick up, but I'm not going to do it today. My back is killing me. Yeah, this looks really nice. And like I said earlier, the only thing that's hanging into the aisles right now is stuff that I want to grow out and have gravity pull it down so that I can get the fruit down into the fruiting zone. Yeah, it looks real good. So I'll have to go through here a couple more times, but it'll be a whole lot quicker than what I did today. And every time that I go through here, if I see stuff that needs to be pruned off or pushed to the wire, I'll just do it right away and keep this the way it is. Yeah, definitely was a lot of work, but the vines are going to grow so much better because of it. Okay, I think the next thing I'll be doing down here that I'm going to videotape will be the next spray. I'll be coming down here, oh, in probably three or four days and doing another real quick minor shoot position. But the next big thing will be the spray. So if you want to see that, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you share the video and or give it a like, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.